If you take a look around, there's lots of people here. Everyone really excited for this event, headlined by Fayetteville native J. Cole. But before all the fun gets started, just wanted to give you guys an idea of what you can and cannot bring inside to this festival. So you can bring in one unopened water bottle. You can also bring in one reusable water bottle. If you take a look over here, there is a free water stand. They'll have those throughout the festival. So you can refill those water bottles. Now, come over here with me. I'm going to show you guys the uh, gate. There's lots of people here that have been here for the, like several hours, even though the gates don't open for another hour, waiting in line. Now, as far as bags go, you can't bring any large backpacks. You can't bring any large purses. You can bring those drawstring backpacks you see a lot of people have on. You can bring a fanny pack, a clutch. Uh, you can bring a clear backpack or a clear Ziploc bag. It is very crowded out here. If you take a look just around me, you can see hundreds of people are in line right now. The gates haven't even opened up yet, and we're expecting 40,000 people total today. So this is going to be a massive event. And we've been talking with some fans today. A lot of people are really excited for this event. I was talking with these ladies before. Tell me, what's your name? Jayla. So Jayla, tell me, why did you want to make the trip out here for this event? So we were very excited. We bought our tickets actually last year in September, so we've been waiting for this for forever. And a lot of people from North Carolina, but we've also spoken to some people who made the trip from far away. I actually spoke to a couple of guys, we're going to talk to them right now, who came all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Ricky. So you came all the way from Phoenix. What made you make such a long trip? I had to come check out J. Cole, the GOAT. I had to make sure I, I came all the way out here to see him. Um, I missed his concert in Phoenix, so I had to come check him out. So what do you think so far? How are you feeling? Um, there's a lot of people out here. I, I mean, I expected 40,000 people to show up, but this is a lot of people. And what do you love so much about J. Cole? You know he's from the area. He's from oh, Fayetteville, yeah. North Carolina. He does a lot of great for the people. He did a concert where he only charged a dollar um, to get in. He uh, purchased a house rent-free for people. He does a lot of great things for the community. He's an amazing person. Talk to me about the trip. You said you flew here. Uh -huh. How long did it take? Um, we flew into Denver, Colorado, so it was about a two-hour flight there, then four-hour flight from Denver over here. Wow, that's a long trip, but definitely worth it, you think? I mean, I, let's hope so. We're going in right now, so let's hope so. Okay, thank you guys so much. <laughs> let's show you, to give you some locator information, there's Interstate 40, that bridge right there. There's an exit ramp and an on-ramp. The on-ramp to uh, U.S. Uh, Interstate 40 East was briefly shut down because of the debris. As the uh, sheriff said, the tornado came in this direction. And as it came in this direction, take a look there, look in the woods way back there. You can see that some of those trees are broken off about halfway to two thirds of the way up. You can literally see the path of the tornado through the woods. And then apparently it's set down here. There's some power lines down. This home here, which was pretty much devastated by the tornado. The sheriff says that home was not being, was not occupied at the time and how lucky for them. Look at how that big branch that came off that trunk was literally twisted and spun around. Yeah, that's, that, that swing uh, belongs to my son. He enjoyed swinging in that swing, so we'll have to get another one for him. <laughs> the most important thing is that you, your son, and everybody else around this area, they survived. She passed away about a year ago and uh, I'm sure with the destruction of the house, uh, if she was alive today, she'd say, I told you so. So she, she, uh, there goes that right there. That's one of the trees. Yeah. Obviously it was weakened enough that it would come down.